I'm excited to introduce a brand new video series here on the Other Levels channel. The Essential Excel 2025 Function Series. Your step-by-step -step guide to mastering the newest and most powerful features in Excel. Let's begin this journey with our very first function, Trim Range. Microsoft recently introduced the Trim Range function along with Trim Refs, and I'd like to talk about these in this video. Exercise 1. In this first exercise, we'll just get our bearings. Let's just say we have some data and we want to do a calculated column. For example, maybe we want to subtract this from this. So we go equals this minus this, enter. And then we fill this down. But then we got to thinking, what happens if I want to add some new rows? Will this formula automatically fill itself down? And the answer is, well, it kinda depends. For example, one option would be to store this data in a table because tables automatically expand another option is just to kind of rely on Excel's ability to recognize this as an issue and to fill this formula down. Depending on your Excel version that may or may not work. Another option to try to future-proof this worksheet is just to fill this formula down, like all the way down so you might do something like you might use a whole column reference. For example you might go equals this whole column minus this whole column. Enter. And it'll ensure that the difference is calculated for any new rows, but look what it also means if we filled like a million cells with a value. So that could increase the file size, and slow down our performance. And so now we have a new way to approach these kinds of situations. It's by using the trim range function. Let's go to the next exercise too. So this function will trim empty rows that are before or after our range and that enables us to use a whole column reference. So, for example, equals, trim range, all of D, minus, trim range, all of C close function and enter. This time, even though we've used column only references, the formula is only filled down, as needed. And next period, if we add a new row 1000 and 1200, this formula is updated. So this is now a new option. Now let's go back into the trim range function. And we'll see that we have two additional optional arguments, row trim and call trim. If we don't specify this argument, the default is both. That means it's gonna remove blank rows above, and blank rows below the range. Any blank rows within the range those are left in. But we can also be more specific. We can say only trim the leading rows, or only trim the trailing rows. In addition to rolling out the trim range function, there's also some new reference operators called trim refs. So let's check that out in the next exercise, exercise 3. If we didn't want to use the trim range function, we could use trim refs. And here's what that looks like. We use our whole column reference with the column. If we want it to trim leading rows, we would put a dot in front of that column. If we want it to trim trailing rows, we'd put a dot after the column. And we can use both dots if we'd like. Minus C to C. Enter. And so that looks pretty funky, but that's the new trim ref operators. And it's very infrequent that we get new operators. The most recent one was the spill reference operator, and now we have this one as well. So depending on how you're using Excel, this could certainly be very handy. Hope this has been helpful. Make sure to visit other-levels.com, where you can download all our templates and datasets used in our tutorials. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next lesson.